Hello, Gemini. It is time for your mid-June to July reading of this current year, which is 2019. How are y'all doing today? Hope lovely. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if this doesn't resonate with you, don't worry too much about it because it's just a card game. If it does, good deal, hopefully. But we're going to see what's going on with y'all. Hmm. Uh, you're not a happy mother in a happy relationship sort of thing, or a mother figure in here is just not in her happy spot. She might be a little mad. Just a little bit. Definitely trying to keep up the happy family image, almost. Or keep up at least a happy face. Be you or a person you are dealing with. Let's see. Gemini, we got... Four of Wands, door closed, connection cut off between two people, wants and wishes to not recover or worry or think about some things or someone or whatever. The Emperors and the Fear and Rejections. Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Also, this is Aries' card. That's the situation right there. The Starman or the Magician traditionally in the obstacles and challenges coming against you. It's almost like, ugh, that's a mirror right there. Eight of Pentacles reverse and the catalyst as well as the final result. Not working on something with the beginning theme being getting out of that devil energy or that negative vibration. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, right? Could be a connection that might not be healthy that you no longer have association with. Or it, it, it could be that you're evaluating a relationship that's no longer there. And just being like, you know, maybe I, everything didn't work out for a particular reason. Either because of me or the other person. One of the two. What the fuck was that flicker for? Don't you dare shut off while I need your light. Magical light box. Alright, so. Four of Wands, y'all. This could be you, too, because it does have twins in here. But it's like, there's a connection with somebody that's... It's either been cut, severed, waning, no longer there. Ooh. Double, double. You guys were happy together, but it's just, it just doesn't exist anymore. It's been cut off, and it's just kind of like... Something wasn't good about it. You could have dealt with a Capricorn who just did the cut off to you. It was just like, no more, you know? We tend to do that sometimes. Because we can see, like, the potential bad in things. And just like, mm, yeah, I'm not even trying to deal with a conflict with you. So I'm just going to, like, skedaddle. We got Cancer Pisces or Scorpio here with the Queen of Cups in the situation. Someone trying to get their emotions balanced. Trying, they, she's got glasses so she can see clearly. And she's a master of her emotions right now. She's got those waves behind her under control. Or are those trees? Oh, yeah, those are trees and there's a waterfall behind her, but still, like, it's behind her, so she's got it completely under her grasp. She knows how to control her emotions. She knows how to judge accordingly with empathy. She understands the validity and how they work. Hmm. The Emperor. Reverse. Oh, uh, might be a bit of a control freak. Just, uh, just, just enough to make it go. Mm. This water sign right here. Uh, that's the situation. Someone's um trying to gain control of their emotions by trying to control everybody else, and that's probably why the separation happened. We have these four of wands reverse, where someone just doesn't want to think about a victory. Then not only did not happen, but everybody kind of became like, get out of our town! You know, someone doesn't want to feel like, you know, they were shunned away in shame. Hideous, hideous shame. Like, they don't want to think about how all of this went down. They don't want to think about, um... What happened to, um, kind of cause everything to be, like, not ruined? It just, it didn't work in their favor, I guess. Like, they, they rolled the dice and it just didn't happen the way they thought it would. Starman! 
or the Magician traditionally, Rider Waite, of course, in any other deck. Um, obstacle and challenge coming against you. What it is you manifest. Could also be Aries as well. Actually, like, the Emperor showed up twice, too. So definitely could be dealing with an Aries that might have water in their chart, or he's just really being emotional right now. Ooh. What you manifest could possibly come against, bite you in the ass. Whatever it is that, like, you draw. I mean, it says Gemini season, Gemini. So things might come out backwards for you, I feel like, especially with this right here. It's like you try to create something, and it just doesn't work. It doesn't turn, or whatever it is that you create um, just works against you in some sort. And that's the obstacle and challenge. It's like, don't try to make things happen. Like, resist the urge to control things just to make your emotions feel better when regard to this connection that is just no longer existent. Like, it was happy, but now it's like, you know, yeah. The fears and rejection, Emperor Reverse once again, control freak kind of thing, right? Definitely trying to be smug in the face of this devil right here that's reversed. Aries and Capricorn. It's always Aries and Capricorn. It's like the two most domineering. Not dominating, domineering signs, really. Capricorn just because of intimidation and Aries just because they dominate. It's just what they do. It's probably why we have a hard time getting along a lot of the time. <laughs> probably why we're all trying with including Libra, of course. Let's see. Eight of Cups, reverse. Someone's gotten tired and old and it's just not there. It's just like, you know, I like I, I like I'm just turning my back to all this. Like it was like this is just like this is something they've held on to for a long time. But here it is just like they gotta turn their back to this because the emotions just aren't there anymore it's like someone's afraid that uh they'll drive someone away and the eight of pentacles things just not working out particularly well hmm and that's because it's like Every time this bird comes up to give a wreath, which is the same wreath as up here. Someone's like, got like, I got a sword. And they don't realize that it's almost like a, um, parting gift, I feel like. You know, it's, um, almost like, hmm. Like, it's dark, so it's hard for them to see the wreath, and it's almost like they don't know if this wreath is a form uh, kind of like a peace offering or a trap. So they got their sword ready and they can't tell until it gets really, really close. But by that time, it's probably too late. Like if it was like reverse, reverse like this, it'd just be like, um, you know, I don't care. Slush. Like they don't, like they don't even care about what it is you could say. Like they're, they're completely in the dark Whatever it is they believe, they believe, and nothing you will say will change their mind. Here, it's like they could potentially have their mind changed, but it, they're, it's so cloudy and dark that it's hard for them to see that this is a wreath of victory, um, which was in your possession, but you're trying to possibly give it to this person, but they can't tell what it is. It's like you're trying to... It, it, it's almost like a... It's almost like trying to apologize to someone who can't tell that you're apologizing. So they think it's a threat. <laughs> like, they're just like, ah, what do you want? For real. What's the ending theme? Something popped up, but I wasn't able to catch it right. It was all, like, confused and such. Oh... The Magician Reverse Free Verse. The Magician Reverse Dark Side. Or Dark Side Verse. Dark Side Phil. Some of you don't know who that is. You're perfectly fine with not finding out. Don't even look it up. <laughs> 
But this is the Magician Reverse with his back turned, right? He's trying to fight back the light with a candle. Like, that's gonna work, right? Like, um, he's trying to fight off the real light with his own light. Like, this is my truth, but this is reality. You know, all of the, like, the sunrise is reality. And he's trying to fight off reality with his truth. And it's just like, it doesn't work that way. Like, he might be able to get it off and, like, just be like, look, this is my truth, this is what I'm holding up to it. Like, you can either accept it or you don't. But here, it's like, it doesn't work. It's like, it's, it's almost like someone, um, trying to finagle a way to make their perspective, um, stronger than the truth. And it doesn't work, and that's why, like, the devil's right here reverse. It's like, uh-uh, no, no, get out. Just get out. Just get out with that shit. It's like someone can't cover up, like, what they inherently know. Even though, like, like they, they wanted this victory up here, and it, it was just completely, like, no, denied. D-fucking-nied. And we're taking your ass out. Like, we're, we're totally just beating the shit out of you for it, too. Just shaming and hurting and all this. Because they didn't get a victory. Trying to send almost an apology. But it's just like someone doesn't recognize it. Someone can't see it. Someone can't see this peace offering you sent. Or someone just doesn't get it. Are you about to like flicker out? Or is it just the connection? Like, well, Because it keeps flickering. Yeah, there it goes. I get it. Okay. Um, the first card is the... Three of Cups. Reverse. Hmm. Hmm. It's like... Uh, I'm not sure. It's like all these other chicks are just dancing and playing around and it's just one offering a cup out. And these overgrown weeds and shit. Even then, it's just kind of like, you know, um, like, this is definitely a separation here. Either third party or otherwise. It's definitely separation. Um, because this person's doing something completely different than these other ones, and it's just kind of like, you know, like, why do I hang out with these chicks? Why? Like, all they ever want to do is party. They never want to actually do anything. That's probably something that's stemming between, like, this door staying closed and someone, like, wanting control when it comes to their emotions a little bit. We have Cancer's card with the chariot, but it's is reversed, and it's like someone's like leaving stuff behind because you know it, it's kind of became everything kind of um, the roads caving in to the universe. It's which is just kind of like I'm not sure. It's like it doesn't exist. It's dissolving. Thanos was here. That was the whole thing, <laughs> right? And. Um, it's eating away at what can be manifested, which is going to end up being backfired. And someone's trying to run to the... Uh, charge ahead towards this um, place where they can forget that they had to run away in a situation they might have created. Mmm. That's the card reverse. I have to look at this. Like, look at this one. Look at how awesome this is. Like, everything's cheery, beautiful. Death. Just death. You know, but it, this is a... Some, like, something new will be coming up. Or some sort of um, new beginning. Or something that was... Like, this chick is celebrating. It's a happy sunshine moment. Blah, blah, blah. But it's just kind of like gotten stale and dragged on and stagnant. And it's just kind of like, ugh. Like everything's like alive and well, but it's kind of like living like an immortal. You know, everyone takes for granted that death kind of grants us the release of losing our minds after a time of being on this planet. Like how, like the human mind can learn a lot, but it's just like at some point you're going to get bored. 
and then boredness comes to madness, and then loneliness, and then back to madness again, and then it's just kind of like, ah. It's just like, things won't die. Like, you could be happy, but things won't die the way that they're supposed to be. Hmm. So that's interesting. The sun is shining, but, like, nobody cares. <laughs> Alright. So that was your reading, Gemini. Yay. Thank you for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, my email is down in the description box below. I don't charge, but I take donations and tips. You can use my PayPal for that. Like, no pressure, though. Um, like, share, subscribe if you wish or want to. You guys have a good day. I love your faces. Bye-bye.